Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show. Today, we've just basically got nine A's. That's it. And calm climbing. True. So yeah, a 9A packed busy show this week. But as you said, comp climbing and the IFSC went back to Slovenia. But this time we had a new venue. This year, we were by the seaside in Copper at a new purpose-built outdoor venue. So let's have a look at who won. And this is a spoiler alert. Skip through this section if you don't want to know. For the men, it was Yannick Floe who took bronze. He used a different method than everyone else down low and fell at 29 plus. Silver was taken by Sasha Lehman, who brought his A game and had the joint highest move on the route. Luca Potica's same score was enough for gold after countback. It was a brilliant performance in front of his home crowd. For the women, Brooke Rabatou was third, making the hard move through the jump but falling just after. It was really a battle between Yanya Garmbret and a returning I Mori. I climbed first and did some unique beta on the way and got an incredible high point. Yanya just couldn't beat that, and despite the crowd cheering her on, she fell just before I for silver, meaning that I Mori takes her first gold medal. So a weekend of firsts, uh, first time in copper, first time on the new wall, and Luca and I winning their first gold medals. First, w first, first, one, one, one. Exactly. Would you have bet against Yanya Gambre, our own comp? The awful not thing winning. Yeah. is that we were talking about it while the seven finals were on. Who? I was just like, because I was at this climbing festival, oh, so, you yeah, know, all okay. climbers, fans of this. The reception was pretty bad, but like she looked solid throughout mm -hmm. like who would bet against her she did i mean i mori just had something spectacular mm. she, she has this style uh, of weird moves um she just does things differently yeah it was cool to watch she's been gone a long time since 2019 was the last time we watched mm -hmm. her beat yanya fairly convincingly obviously everyone had to fight yanya said she was disappointed on her instagram because she yeah, just, you know so much support but it was amazing she still got silver and luca potager winning for the men Damn. In the home country. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of glad that I missed this this comp, to be honest. <laughs> I thought you said you watched it. Eh, here yeah, and she, there. She I refreshed I refreshed the app constantly. Mm, well done, my my well thumb done. kept refreshing. But like I from refreshing the app, weren't the roots quite like short? No. Or like intense. Uh, or they fell low she down. Know. I didn't look. No, they I'm, were I'm hard. asking. They were super hard. They were super hard. Yeah, so I think that the you know everyone was moaning about Chamonix being too easy. Yes. That's definitely changed. Right. Um, were they too hard? I mean, look, every everyone I talked to was like much prefer it being harder. The separation was okay. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. Um, so I think people would prefer it being harder. But yeah, miles off tops. No one got anywhere near the top yeah. of either route. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks for the update. No worries. Um, I'm going to move on to the 9A roundup. As reported on 8a.nu, Jonathan Segrist is up in Squamish, and this week is back on our 9a roundup, because he climbed Spirit Quest, a 35-meter route bolted by Tom Wright. Down in Spain, Jorge Diaz Rulo never disappoints, and he just logged in on 8a.nu, his latest 9a. The line is called Out of Time. He describes it as a fun route with three very different sequences, with dynamic and endurance-style climbing. So these are the proper 9As. Then we have a segment with 9As that have been downgraded. So you've split the 9A news into Terry's upper class and lower class 9As. But that's what the athletes say. I just like, you know, read. Wow, the gatekeeper journalist over there making decisions. But no, be, they made them. They made them. <laughs> they made them. That will come in a second. We're just reporting on it. First of all, we're talking multi pitches and Alexander Huber. As reported by Planet Mountain in a great write-up, Alex Huber has made the first ascent and freed the six-pitch multi-pitch called Ramayana. With difficulties up to 8B+, this route is no pushover. It starts on an established line, Karma, before breaking left. Now, although this route is bolted, it does need some extra gear along the way, with nuts and cams essential to keep you safe. In Alex's own words, it's airy, steep, and beautiful. Six pitches of perfect climbing. So that route is on the uh, Wadringer Steinplatte in Austria, and there's lots of hard routes around it. And I think Alex sort of spied 
a new line possibility and, and sorted that one out. So yeah, very cool. Why is this a new special first ascent? It's just a hard, beautiful multi pitch, I think. And you know, up to eight B plus for the difficulties. Uh, bits of seven C plus that he described as a break, <laughs> a hard eight. A, a break. Plus. Yeah, a seven yeah. C plus is a break. Yeah, yeah, they're good. These these pros, aren't they? It's too easy, my lord. Pretty pretty handy with the old rock Hold on. stuff. Mm. Yes. That's it. That's so, it. ooh, easy nine A's. Right, so here are the nine A's that Terry didn't think were as good as the other nine A's. It's a separate segment. Uh -huh. Mike Doyle, who climbed his first 8C plus back in 2007, now climbed a 9A called Honor and Glory, but gave it a personal grade of 8C plus. He found some really good beta with double knee pads throughout the bottom of the route, and he describes it as an endurance monster and masterpiece. Thomas Johannes just climbed Cabano Canada, a 9A in Raville, Switzerland, but downgraded it to 8C+, since it only took him three tries. Adam Ondra, back in 2013, actually unsighted this route, and last year he updated his 8A dot new scorecard and downgraded to 8C+. About the route, Thomas said it's 100% competition climbing style, so it suited him. Is 100% competition uh, climbing style just loads of coordination moves? We've been to the crag. You saw the wall. We've been I think to the it's crag. yes. Um, it's crag? the it's the one in Switzerland up that windy road with like the tunnel, the dam, walk down. Oh, anyway, yeah, we have been to that crag. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's on that. Okay. Wall. Right. That's pretty straightforward, I guess. And probably there's like a lot of chalk and things like that, just because it's like a popular route. Yes. So competition style, probably. I'm guessing in the terms that you can see where to go, what's there, and blah, reckon, blah, blah. I reckon it might be just the moves. The three goes. Yeah, 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 but like if it's if I had a competition style route, I'd imagine like no rests, lots of heel hook and weirdness, mm. uh, and sort of some jumps. But then straight forward to read. Maybe, do you think that's competition style? I think that's competition. I mean, it has to be competition style since it's on sites. Mm. So it may be. I don't know. What do you think? I think competition style is what I said, and you think it's easy to read and... Easy to read. Okay, let us know. I genuinely don't know. People say it all the time. It's one of those phrases, but like, oh, it's competition style. What does that mean? Yes, obviously, we've got very different opinions. Well, means. you actually go to competitions. I watch them. You watch so, you know, them, yeah. Um... Yeah, I just talk about them. I don't know. Um... Yes, okay, so I've got some quite sad news within the climbing community now. Uh, Cody Bradford, he was a bit of a legend. Here's the news. Cody Bradford, who worked for Climbing Tech Tips on Instagram, has passed away. He was incredibly popular, especially within Climbing Tech Tips, and will be missed. He died after a lifetime struggle with mental health, and Climbing Tech Tips have reminded people that anyone Having problems with mental health or dark thoughts should reach out and not struggle alone. So there's a GoFundMe fundraiser page down below uh, in memory of Cody Bradford. We've had a lot of messages talking about him. Yeah. He was obviously just immensely popular within the climbing scene and he will be missed. Okay, I think that is all the news. Uh, yes, 9B counter time. Yup. <laughs> This hasn't, this, I'll go away for a period of time and I don't think anyone's touched this, have they? Look, it's just my writing. Just because you're an international rock star mm. <laughs> that has to go all over the place and doesn't have the time to keep that updated. Me. Yes. Uh, you could bring it with you next time. Why didn't you, but you're here doing it. I know, but it was on Yugo's side, your side, so. Were there any 90s? Um, they have been updated. And plus Tyler, who's so kind and lovely Did you show to Tyler's copy video? paste. Tyler's video. Yeah, you didn't show this video. No, Tyler is the one that sends the and um, that I comments the, the 9B. I sent you the video. Which right. Video? I saw him. I met him in Dallas. Here he goes. Hi, I'm Toby Monroe from Denver, Colorado, and I did the 9B counter. Thanks, man. Thanks, mate. So that's the guy who does the 9B counter spreadsheet. How oh. Is that? I didn't watch that video. No, you didn't. I sent it to you, but ignored me. Ignored me. Anyway, you've seen it now. Um, yeah, I was going to the gym in Dallas, and he he was like, hey. You're I'm Matt. Tyler. I do the 9B counter thing. So yeah, cheers, man. Uh, there's nothing on it, though. No, That's this it. week, it, no. No, fail. Shop stuff. Now, uh, restock of BD gear. 
That stands for Black Diamond. Yes, it does. Very good. Um, B, it's some of my favorite. I've just spent quite a while actually editing uh, those three BD sneak peek videos. Ooh, yeah. yeah, the new helmet, the new shoes, and there's another, which I haven't released yet, um, about another shoe. I like BD. I'm a big fan of the gear, like hardware. Yes. I'm interested in the clothes, but haven't worn enough of it yet. And I've been impressed by the Method climbing shoe. Genuinely impressed. I'm looking forward to Method S. That's my opinion on BD. That's your opinion on BD? Mm. I just think it's a good time to get some cams. Why? Because <laughs> BD cams are the best. And cheap at the moment? Or they're just restocked? No, they're just restocked. They're just, we got good stock they're in. Them. That's it. <laughs> they are, and, they are uh, good. But yeah, a quick mention on BD clothes. Good colors, like always good colors. Yeah, not like, silly colors. No, not that, you know, the yellow that's more like vomit yellow. Like your yellow Altera jacket, that yellow. No, that's a lovely yellow, Matt. <laughs> that's canary yes. yellow. <laughs> anyway, just a uh, really weird side note there. But And the good jeans, the Demin, uh, oh, forged yeah. Demin jeans. Yeah, well good jeans. Like, those are really good. Yeah. I think the fit on the men's one are better than the fit on the women's ones. Uh, yes, I do have the women's ones. But then they're really nice and stretchy. So it's like... They are comfy, yeah. I don't really get your point of like going to the crag and then for a drink in them. How do you not I, get this? That's a boy thing. I still think... What would you wear to the crag? Those jeans. Yes. In the fall. Yeah, but then, then when you go to a restaurant or a bar, you don't look like a climber. But with a chamonix. <laughs> we, well, we're about, yes, we are a bit different. But let's say like back in the day, right? Back in my London days. I don't know why we're talking about this still. But back in my London days, I I'd, I'd, I'd go to work um, uh, in schools. Yeah. I used to teach people's. And then... The kids. Yeah, kids. Yes, usually. Um, although I taught adults too with my wiseness. That's, oh, gosh. That's not true. Anyway, so I go from work to the gym to maybe the pub or something. Yeah. That's three different activities yeah. all requiring semi, you know, clothes that fit for all. Those mm. beady jeans would do it. Ooh. But then were you in the London, like, Soho scene? I wasn't cool enough to be. I don't know what the Soho scene know. is. What I know is, what it is. What does is. that involve? I've been to Soho, sure, but I haven't. Is there a scene? I... I wasn't in it. It's in a Taylor Swift I was in the song. North London... Oh, it was right, of course it was. Let's stop talking about shop stuff and move on to... Uh, what are we doing? Um, oh, let's chit-chat about grades. Since yes. Somebody sent you a message. Yes, okay, let's keep this fairly punchy, though, because a poor editor's got to do this, and I've also lost the thing. No, I haven't lost the thing. Right, so I got sent a message on Instagram by Gabriel, who was asking me to, to weigh in in a debate between him and a mate about whether... What's hard... What's a be, he phrased it as what is a greater achievement 8a boulder or 8a lead and look i was immediately like i am not getting involved in this i'll get shot um but then he pushed me and i said that i thought 8a boulder was harder than a sport route so you basically answered that that's a greater achievement no i didn't i said harder because my mm. opinion is i think like if you were just to line the two up and it doesn't really line if you do V grades, but it lines up eight to eight if you use font grade and a French sport grade, right? Yeah. And people tend to see, I certainly tended to see those at a, an achievement level, you know? Mm -hmm. Like your first AA sport route, your first AA boulder feels the same. But... For who gets there, sure. Yeah, but I feel like the boulder is more difficult. All right. Just straight up harder moves and more difficult to do. Yeah. But in terms of greatest achievement, I think that's down to a personal preference. What do you think? Uh, yes, I agree to that. It definitely doesn't convert with uh, V grades and the 5 uh, 14s, 13. Five so that's 13 catchy, D. It? It's like... Yes, it's that catchy. Uh, but no, obviously, like 8A boulder, like physically, I'm just thinking like it's harder than 8A sport. Yeah, well, that's what I, also, I think. Yeah, yeah but... I also feel that it's something that I heard from so many people that like, you can train to climb 8A sport. And if you take out that you're scared of falling and all of that, and you actually enjoy it and blah, 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 blah. Like, yes, like it's maybe more quantifiable yeah. to achieve. Instead, 8A boulder it already starts getting so specific. Plus, I don't think you have an 8A boulder within a sport route. You know what I mean? No, like, yes, exactly. I think you, yeah. I, I don't even know. Maybe, se I would imagine AA is more like 7B, 7B plus. Yeah, but it's still like a savage boulder move in that case. Yeah, yeah for in sure. In an 8A But route. it's not like, in, yeah, directly. Yeah. But I think it's also obviously down to what you're good at as well. Like if you're really good at endurance and you yeah. say you go to Kalimnos, you can hang on forever on, on a long pumpy route. And also grade soft. Yeah, I ain't going to get into that. <laughs> but, um... You know what I mean? Like, it, it could just be AA, you could cruise sport, or, or the other way around. Like, if you're super strong and you have no endurance, 
like me, then, uh, <laughs> then let's stop. Anyway. But yeah. no, but personally, stepping at minus one, uh, getting to 7A sport was like logical. Getting mm. to 7A boulder, you know, took some time yeah. for me personally. But then I don't like it. So mm. okay. well, that solves opinion. that issue. Thank you, Gabriel, for bringing that up. Um, yes, indeed. Comment of the week. No. Uh, no content. No, and see how I skipped to this. talk about you and Alex Magos. You filmed this. I did film it. It was uh, very funny. So basically, Alex was just like, just roll on me. Because he thought I was hilarious, right? That might have been what he was implying. He also might have just, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. I rolled, just rolled on you guys being, I want to say flirting. No, Matt. No, I want to not. say it. No, 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 you, no, no. What no. it was wasn't flirting. No. What was it? I have it? better game than that. That was. I, I don't. don't know. You. I think that was your game. <laughs> Roll a clip. I. What's up, T? Apparently, I have to go to speak to Alex Magus. Yes, you do. Yep. How are you feeling? Which, uh, it, like we've seen each other, we even spoke, but I never really introduced myself. So now I think it's awkward to be like, hey, let's go. <laughs> Asking for a beeline. Like. Yeah, dibs. <laughs> you? Well, what is it? The meat. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Terry. Nice to meet you, Alex. Nice to meet you. Okay. Well done, T. There we go. There Amazing. T, are you going to yes. do the 7B or something else? Am I? Do you want to do it? You want to do it. I could do it. You can <laughs> pick that Chelsea 60 plus over here. Yeah, if you I'll want take to. it. I'll take it. Are you patient, Alex? Very patient. Very I'll patient. give you five minutes and... I know, I'm an extremely slow climber. Oh. <laughs> what did I get myself into here? <laughs> but like extremely slow. Like I have records for how long I stay on routes. Oh my God. You will be down before it's dark though, will you? I can't guarantee it. She messaged me being like, Alex is here. <laughs> Matt, can we not? <laughs> so that wasn't your game. Mm, a friend of mine pointed out my body posture that mm. I was like crossing my arms. Yes, but answer me this, Toti. If it wasn't your game, that I wasn't didn't, my game. I didn't title that episode. You did. Uh, so Hugo why did you title that episode? I didn't. Hugo titled it, but you didn't object. And also, you did the cover, and there was love. <laughs> I didn't do the, the cover. Cover. I don't do the do covers. The, you didn't do the covers. I never did the covers for the past year. You years. do the covers for the show and you put a heart on the cover and now you're no, claiming... No, it's a heart face. So it is a heart face, <laughs> right. I mean, you're claiming that wasn't game. Anyway. Right. Uh, so you know how it usually we're like clickbaity and stuff like that? Occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah, again. Or like we heard that. I was like, this is... I Basically, I wanted something catchy. Why not? Who also, who gets the chance to be belayed by Alex? Like really, That's true. realistically, I've never done it. Never like done you it. climbed with Adam Ondra. Like it's insane situations. He didn't belay like, me though. Did he be? No, he didn't belay me. He just watched anyway, me. Anyway, you climbed with Adam Ondra. Yeah. He gave you beta. Yeah. Anyway, yes, I. It was a, an awesome day. Um, I'm 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 disappointed. It ended up with that awkward I'm sure you are, conversation. Yeah. yeah, disappointed. Disappointed. Indeed. Yeah. Also, you were filming it. I was filming it. So. Um, and you climbed a six C plus very well. First go. On site, very impressed. I couldn't fall. No, you know it was. It, it, I I should have climbed like an eight A. I couldn't fall. I it was. Fallen. It would have been more embarrassing to fall. But Alex, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't, probably uh, but thank you so much for watching and for watching for um, doing the app. I can't talk anymore. Anyway, let's move on to comment of the week. Whew. Yes, my yes, heart. Let's, uh, it's at eighty-five. <laughs> <laughs> my comment of the week after Terry's calmed herself down would be: um, I've lost it. How do I always do? Oh, yes. Um, Dave Murphy. Hi, folks. Can you discuss the camera work, IFSC climbing events, blah, 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 complaining about stuff? Yeah, look, this is... I very briefly want to talk about it because, yeah, lots of people were saying during the semi-finals that it wasn't great. I agree, to be honest with you. It wasn't marvellous. Uh, I wrote something on UKC article about this. What happens is some events are run by TV companies. Some events are run by the IFSC in-house people. Mm -hmm. When it's TV companies, we don't have a particular amount of control. So they had all the toys, but maybe not the climbing knowledge. Some of this is like a learning thing. Like we need directors who understand the sport of climbing because yeah. generally you get sent to a sport and you don't always know it. Um, but for example, the guy who done the Olympics in Munich, that's the same bloke. He's got quite good, I think. So look, it's something we're working on. We are aware of it. Oh, it's, Munich was marvelous. Yes, it was good. Exactly. Yes. But, you know, he had a director with loads of money who had loads of cameras and he knew what he was doing. Did he have personally loads of money? I don't money? think he has personally loads of money, <laughs> but someone did. Um, but you know, something like Slovenia, TV crew, nice angles, director. Nah. So I, it's something we're working on, I'm working on and, and 
some of the IFSC are working on to try to improve it. And I agree it's frustrating, but we do our best. That's my comment, done. Okay. Finito. You're good. Mine is uh, real quick from Andrea Moreletti from five days ago. He says Madonna. Oh, just that? Yes, because apparently I said it. Uh, and then I think you replied, Will. It will be a Teresa trademark soon. No, no. Because every time I say Madonna in front of like an English crowd, they mm. think of the singer and start singing like Vogue or something That's like that. That's what happens every time we say Madonna in front of English people. <laughs> Not English, but English speaking. I don't think I've ever sung Madonna. I don't even know Madonna's song. Vogue. What's a Madonna song? Vogue. Da, na, na, I don't know sing that one. To the music. I don't know a single Madonna song. Isn't she the queen of pop? Yeah, but I can't think of anything. I'm going to completely blank. It's fine. It was like past your time. Is no, that correct? No, no. no it wasn't. <laughs> no, she's, she's been here a while. We need to stop this new show. I can't think of a Madonna song. That's it. Make sure you subscribe. Ah, uh, this was fun. You was missed fun. it. Admit it. Yes, and by the time uh, you've seen this, our editor who does the show, Flo, will almost be married. Almost be married. And we're going to his wedding, right? Yes. Congratulations, Flo. Oh, I'm getting teary-eyed. And Maria, I know their wedding, her wedding dress. She actually dress. is getting teary-eyed. We need to stop yes. this. Yes. See you later, everyone.